Hi guys, welcome back to the final part of this tutorial. In the last video, we learned how to encode any file types to base64. And in this video, you might probably know that we're going to learn how to decode base64 to its original value. And the file types can be anything that you can think of. It can be JSON file, YAML file, CSS, HTML, anything, uh, any file. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before getting into how to decode, now let's just uh, quickly refresh our memory how this one works. So I'm going to choose a file. And in this case, I just use the random.txt, the text file. And here you can see that it gives us this uh, 60 uh, by 64 uh, string. And basically, I can just use it to copy and paste it right here. But uh, Probably I'll do that in a minute. Now, uh, let's just try to create the uh, title right here and also uh, some of the text field down here. Okay, so right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this part, probably all of this. And down here, I'm going to change this to so file image base 64 decoding also i want to change the background from green to this color code this one um, is the red color and i might want to have another text wheel so yep let's just take a look again and here it is so we have the we we, we don't actually need this one We don't need the choose file, only text field. And yep, let's just take a look again. Okay, so now uh, we have this text field and also this one area uh, here as well, the text area. So two of this. So this one's supposed to be the uh, base64, whatever that we choose uh, the file from. And it encoded into the base64. And once we have that, it's going to show it here. And it will also automatically uh, convert it or decode it into the original value that we can just see the result right here. So I want to also have like a space in between these uh, two text areas as well. So let me just quickly do that right here. Okay. And here it is. So now we have like a space decode. Yep. Now, let's just take a look at this stack overflow. And here, we will learn how to um, decode base64. And uh, you can see that there's a lot of function down here. So now let's just uh, quickly look at each of them. Okay, so right here, this is how we encode UTF-8 to base64. And right here, this is the base64 to UTF-8. So UTF-8 here, it does support like different type of uh, text. It can be like in Chinese, any languages. Um, so this is uh, UTF-8. And right here, uh, this is the function. Uh, we might probably use this one, but now let's just take a look at the other uh, solution first. So this one, it just uh, from the byte stream to the percent encoding to its original string. Okay, and here this is the pre-2018 resolution. So right here, this one, um, they are using the array for the decoding. And using the uh, dot map dot call, while the above one here, it just used the uh, dot map. And this is the original solution. It's already deprecated. Okay, so what this one use? Uh, they use the escape and unescape. So right here, but this is uh, deprecated already. Mm, we're not going to use that one. And this is um, the other one, which is using the decode window dot um, a to b. But this one, it only works with the uh, string, okay? And this one right here, 
Okay, so this one is um U in eight array. So this represent the uh, unassigned integer, and this is eight, the eight bits. Okay, see what else. This one using the uh, unescape and escape, but again, this is already duplicated. And this is another one which is the same as the one that I show you. Okay, there are more right here. This is a lot more you can see here. So now, what are we going to do with this? I will use this um, one. Yep, this function. This one it used the uh, the code URI components and it also used this function A to B and split. I will explain more in detail, but first let's just uh, type this in our application. Okay, now let's just go back here. And then um, also I want to mention that we don't actually need this at the moment because we're gonna write a new function. Also with this, this is base 64. Okay, we this one, but this one should be fine. Okay, let's just quickly type out the function const decode file base 64. Uh, this take a parameter, in this case, um, going to be the base 64 string, whatever that the base 64 coming from. And right here, uh, we just use the return the code URI component. And right here, this is the A to B base 64 string coming from the parameter. And we're going to use the split. So this just split. I'll, I'll explain. Uh, right here, this is map. We have the function C represent here the um, character. Um, down here, this one should be the return of the percentage plus this zero zero and right here character dot char at char code at zero dot to string sixteen of the right here the slide two and then we're gonna join all of this together again with this Okay, so now we have this. Let me just um, quickly type this one here as well. From byte stream to percent encoding to original string or value. All right, so now we have that. What's next is okay. Let me just uh, explain you by now. Okay, so for this um, function, what it does, it will convert base64 to the uh, original string uh, in the uh, UTF-8. So the A to B here, the function, it convert the base64 string to the ASCII uh, string where each character represents one byte. And at this point, uh, we split the uh, string and also we try to grab the character of each character and then convert it to the uh, left padded uh, base 16 string. Okay, so the char code add here, what it gives, it gives us the uh, binary code and also to the uh, base 64 here, it's gonna be the uh, hexa value. And then we will try to join those again. Okay, so now let me just also quickly show you uh, what the sample of this one so that you can easily understand. Okay, so this is one sample that you can see. Um, it's quite similar to what we just looked at. But this one, uh, instead of like uh, having this U, uh, what we use, we use the percent. So instead of something looking like this, this will uh, become like the uh, percentage symbol. 
So right here, this is supposed to be something like this. Okay, so once we have all of the value, then what it does, it will try to use the uh, the code URL component and turn it into the original uh, string right here. Okay, so this is how it works. Okay, so now we can just basically call this a uh, function inside our uh, text area right here in the on change here. But the thing is that um, if you still remember, uh, if we're gonna just call this directly uh, without having to uh, split after the comma, then it's gonna show us an error. So now let me just uh, quickly show you that one right here. So we're gonna call that and then right here, this is gonna be the file base uh, 64 string. So let me just quickly do that. And now let's just see if we get the error. I'm gonna choose a file, convert, say this one. And here you can see that um, it doesn't recognize and it failed to execute this on the Windows. So that's a reason why we need to, let me just comment this out again. Go back to its original state. Okay, let's just try this. And here we get this result. And we're gonna copy everything and paste it here. Click on the decode. And here you can see that we need to get it off the uh, first part right here. So it's supposed to be after the um, base 64 comma. Do that again. This will give us the uh, value. And this time I change a little bit. Uh, we also include the more line break below, which is right here. And you can also see that here as well. We have this. So um, we need to have all of the value show right here. So to do that now, let's just uh, grab only this part and remove the front part. Okay, so now um, to do that, I'm going to create a new variable to store everything, decode base64, and we call this function, decode file base64. And right here, we use the file base64 string, and we're gonna cut it. We we'll also use the substring, file base64 string with the index of and right here it look for the comma so once it found that it's gonna grab everything after this comma and yep right here we can just use this variable where it store all the value okay so now let's just uh, put it right here in inside the value and also the on change here as well we call the function and for this one, uh, we don't actually need this one because whatever that value uh, we get from the uh, first text field, then it's gonna show the result here. So the on change is not required. Let's just come back again and try to encode the same file. And here we get this. Okay, and this is the result, but it's not something we expected so the reason is um, right here let's just take a look at this one first so you can see that it's supposed to be after the two string 16 and we just need to cut this and paste it right here okay this should now be good to go let's just see this again choose a file same one right here we get this and here it is so this okay so this is the result and we also contain all of these line breaks below here as well and in case you can see that this is uh, like looking as very uh, weird symbol then um, it's fine because it's also inside the text field here as well so that's uh, how we decode it and now uh, what I want to do 
So since um, we are using this uh, library uh, where we can just use this to auto size the uh, text area but the thing is that we can't really set the width and it's going to look very weird when I try to refresh or start it again it looks something like this very small and um, let me just quickly manually change the width of the text area so to do that right here I just need to type the style width right here I'm gonna set to 500 pixel and doing the same for the other two right here and right here okay maximum row is 20 and here it is so now we have this and try that again make sure it's looking better and here it is we have this whatever that coming from here it's gonna show here and then once we have that it show us the original value on the right hand side here okay now let me just close all of this and now let's just try to do it again this time we're gonna use the JSON file example.json and here it's code everything so now we have this and then here the result you can also resize this here as well can see that we have this value and here is the original value down here and it also um, contain like the proper indents here as well okay so yep that's uh, pretty much it guys then uh, we learn how to uh, encode in the previous video and, and in this video we learn how to decode it into the original value and um, if you have any question let me know down in the comment section below and if you enjoy and find this video valuable don't forget to leave a like on this video and see you guys in the next video